ballroom dancing world champion, and he is fulfilling a lifelong dream when he takes his program, Dancing Classrooms, back to his city of birth, Jaffa. That's right. You can see his journey of teaching 150 11-year-old Jewish and Palestinian Israelis to dance together in the new film, Dancing in Jaffa, tonight. And joining us now is Phyllis Wolf, the program director of the Jewish Community Center, along with Pierre Dulain himself, the founder of Dancing Classrooms. Thank you for joining us. Yeah, thanks for being Pleasure. here. Thank you. We're, so, we're, uh, one, of my, one of my favorite things, I think it really is a, a sort of diamond in the desert, is the Jewish Community Center. For those that have never been there before, tell us a little bit about it. Thanks for asking. So we're in our 15th year, we're in the Northeast Heights. We are a community center, emphasis on community. Jewish in terms of we're based on Jewish values, however, mm -hmm. we're not a religious organization. Mm -hmm. We have something for everyone, literally. We have a fabulous fitness program. Yeah, you really do. And uh, have you ever worked out? Oh, yeah. We have we everything have. you mm -hmm. can imagine. We have Zumba classes, spin classes, all of that. Mm -hmm. And we also have camps. We have a preschool. And then my area, which is cultural and arts, we do a ton of entertaining and educational programming and it's really great. It's yeah, great. it really is a great place. If you've never worked out there, you should try it. Yeah. So the second annual Albuquerque Jewish Film Fest is coming up. Tell us a little bit about it. Sure. So this is, yep, as you said, our second annual and what better equalizer but movies. Everybody loves mm -hmm. films mm -hmm. and we're always um, endeavoring to get the Jewish experience out to the general public. And mm -hmm. so in this case, we will be visiting starting tonight with Pierre's movie, Israel. On Wednesday, we're going to France with um, an internationally acclaimed, and it's a world opening here. Uh, it's called 24 Days. It's a fabulous story. Thursday, we go to Cuba, and then we wrap it up in the U.S. on Sunday back at the JCC with the deli. <laughs> wow. Cool. Wow, that's incredible. All right, so Pierre, tell us a little bit about this. And you're, you're coming from New York City to be part of this. Yes. Uh, tell us a little bit about this film, what we can expect. Well, it's first of all, it is. Uh, I was born there, and it was a gift of mine. I wanted to give a gift to the children of Jaffa, whether you're Jewish, whether you're uh, Palestinian Israelis, and that's what I did. But I have to tell you, I thought I was hot stuff. <laughs> it was the hardest, most challenging thing I have project I have ever, ever, ever Teaching done. these students was... The, uh, but teaching, but teaching kids, 10-year-old kids is not easy. It's very challenging. No, I anyway. would imagine. Um, Anyone that is a parent knows that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> for sure. No, but, but the thing is, um, I was really teaching them to dance with the enemy. Because they're living in yeah. front of each other, mm -hmm. but they don't talk to each other. Mm -hmm. And... Um, Wow, I can't believe I did it, but uh, I am a Taurus, I'm determined, and it <laughs> happened. <laughs> now, when did this kind of become your goal and your passion? Well, actually, uh, there was another film of our program, Dancing Classrooms, called Mad Hot Ballroom. Mm -hmm. And so after a while, I thought, well, if I'm doing this, I need to go back. A woman, a Jewish woman, came to New York asking me, would I take it to Israel? Mm -hmm. I said, by all means, Dancing Classrooms would be wonderful, but only if I bring Jewish and Palestinian Israeli mm -hmm. years together. Her yeah. eyes opened, her ears opened, and we kept in touch, and it became a reality through the uh, producer of my other film, Take the Lead, with Antonia Banderas. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And uh, so she's a producer. She said, Pierre, when you go, I'm coming with you. Mm -hmm. So thank you, Diane Nabatov, because she's the one that produced the movie. That's wow. fantastic. You know, and I really think before we get the, the dates and times on this, so we can come see it, I think that it's really important that you use the arts. I think that, you know, considering the world that we live in these days, oftentimes mm -hmm. the best way to have cultural exchange yeah, yeah. is through the arts, is through dance. Absolutely. You don't yeah. make it about politics. You don't make it about religion. You make it about the human experience, and I think that's great. So we want to experience this film. We want to see yes. it. What are the dates, times? How do okay. we get tickets? Okay, so it is showing one time this evening at the National Hispanic Cultural Center. Okay. Uh, it will be at 7 p.m. Tickets are $5. You can get them at the door. Mm -hmm. There will be seats. Mm -hmm. The doors will open at 6.30, and Pierre will be there. You'll have a chance to meet Pierre. He okay. will introduce the film. And I, in the short time that I've gotten to know him this morning, I'm, I'm delighted that... Mm -hmm. uh, and there will be a Q&A &A afterwards. Okay. Okay. Yes, yeah. yes, there will. So there will. And then we move on Wednesday and Thursday. Uh, we have films again at the right. Hispanic Cultural Center, and then Sunday, the seventh is our last film, which is uh, uh, The Deli Man, and we're going to have okay. a deli lunch. All the films the whole week are $5 each, okay. and we're part of AFME, the Albuquerque mm -hmm. Film and Music Experience, Great. so it's really exciting That's week. That's fantastic. All right. Well, there's definitely more to come with AFME, guys. For more information on this film and so much more, head over to casa.com. Best of luck with the screening tonight. Pleasure Thank to you. Thank you so much. Pleasure to be here. All right. Well, a brand new season of So You Think You Can Dance starts tonight.